Hello, I'm Gavin Palmer, and today I'm going to talk about Rick Walker. So I watched Rick Walker speak with Paul Vanderclay this morning. So I woke up at 2 a.m. because of a dream, and then I watched that conversation between Rick Walker and Paul Vanderclay. Notice that I'm not subscribed. What would it take for me to subscribe to Rick Walker? For me personally, it takes uh, interaction. I usually pay attention to people who pay attention to me. Um, but I'm not asking for that at this point. Um, but why would you be interested in me, Rick Walker? Well, Rick Walker here wants to help millennials become the leaders of tomorrow, gaining purpose through greater responsibility. So I've been doing that. Um, at one point, I wanted to be Jesus. I wanted to be the Messiah. And so I thought that if I could live perfectly, that God would allow me to be a superhero who could heal people, like, and that that's what he did for Jesus. Jesus was able to live perfectly and became a superhero who could heal people, and that's what I was trying to do too. Um, I wanted to create peace on earth. I wanted to fulfill these prophecies. I saw that in order to have peace on earth, um, we'd probably need the basic need necessities. If everyone, if you want to have peace on earth, everyone needs clean water then I met someone who actually had a device so Jason Delport has this convective heat engine where we can make the desert bloom and this would be the infrastructure for a city that can house over 80,000 people and basically create a river uh, in the desert an oasis in the desert so that happened to me but you know I'm a husband I'm a father I've got two properties um, I've got some amount of wealth. Uh, I'm a professional, uh, software engineering. I've read a bunch of leadership books. Yeah. Leadership books? I, would, I was looking for my favorite leadership books here. Uh, 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership by Maxwell, How to Win Friends and Influence People by Carnegie, The Art of War, Sun Tzu, The Book of Five Rings, uh, based on uh, Miyamoto Musashi, Bruce Lee, Jeet Kune Do, uh, Emotional Intelligence, and Emotional Intelligence 2.0. And I also, like, I always had a fascination with Genghis Khan and Alexander the Great and uh, Teddy Roosevelt. So, yeah, if you want to build a city, if you are interested in trying to create a project where we develop a vision such that our wives and children would be interested in selling off all of our property and yeah, what do you call it? Liquidating your property and, and then investing into the project such that we could eventually build New Jerusalem, which might look like the convective heat, in, heat engine, um, which is, uh, according to Jason, connected to scripture that is foretold throughout all the scripture, Old Testament and New Testament. Um, and I'd, I'd subscribe then if you'd be someone who'd be interested, for example, in investing $100,000 in building a city. That's how I'd become interested in, interested in uh, this Rick Walker YouTube channel. So let me know if you're interested in building cities and, and investing $100,000 alongside, you know, uh, thousands of other people and trying to create a vision for a for a city, for New Jerusalem, in which, you know, our families would be interested in participating and moving there, then uh, let me know. Let me know if that's interesting to you.